Hi, welcome back to the series of automotive sessions. I am Tota Krishna Hema, your automotive expert. So today we would like to discuss about FMEA, failure mode and FX analysis in detail in furthermore slides. So what is this FMEA? FMEA is failure mode and FX analysis. So these, this FMEA is classified into two types that is design FMEA and process FMEA. So what do we do as a part of FMEA? There are certain steps like to come up with an FMEA. Step one is first of all, we need to identify the potential failure modes related to process or design. So why I have mentioned it as potential failure mode is like before occurring that failure mode, we need to identify that failure mode. Step two is derive the effects and severity of identified failure modes. So First, the second step is we need to derive the effects of that failure mode and we need to identify the severity of those of that failure mode. Step three is identify the causes. So what caused this failure? Step four is identify the probability of occurrence of the failure mode. So what is the probability to get this failure mode? Okay. Step 5 is identify the controls that is detection and prevention controls and their effectiveness also. So after identification of detection control and the prevention control we need to identify we need to uh, know their effectiveness also. Step 6 is about identify detecting detection rating. Uh, so step 7 is Calculate RPN. RPN is risk priority number. It is a multiplication of severity, probability of occurrence and detection rating. So step 8 is calculate and prioritize the risks which are associated with failure modes. Develop the action. Step 9 is about develop the action plan to mitigate risk. Step 10 is measure the effectiveness of action plan identified. So how to do process FMEA? Process is nothing but a step-by-step -step procedure in which like a process flow chart will be there. Okay. So first of all, we need to define a process flow chart in which there, there should be an input, there should be a process flow and there should be output and the involved parties like suppliers who, who are all involved or the vendors or uh, we and the customers, our customers as well. Step two is define function like what, uh, what exactly uh, the the flow control is is like. Uh, you know, uh, we need to do it there. It's like we need to do, do. we need to document? Do we need to define something? Do we need to refi review something? Or do we need to approve something? Do we need to test something? Do we need to uh, communicate or circulate the res circulate the results across the team? Or do we need to establish traceability? These all comes under the functionality or function of the process. So step three is function is nothing but it's like you know there is a work or verb. So we have identified uh, the verbs in the process. Okay, and uh, step three is about identify functions related uh, failure mode, fa uh, potential failure modes. So we have identified functions then the next step is we need to identify the potential failure modes for that so uh, potential failure modes for this thing is incorrect documentation we didn't do testing we didn't do reviews we did not approve uh, so something like this and we did not communicate the results so review coverage was not enough so there is some less data or test in testing is not enough etc so step four is derive the effects like does it impact immediately if we don't do testing so does it impact anything so if we don't follow coding guidelines then does it impact anything is is like we is it an immediate impact or is it an delay delayed impact or is uh, in delayed impact like you know if it is it affects in the same uh, phase of the phase of uh, uh, the product or is it affects the next phase of the product or you know if it uh, post delivery or in during operation like uh, immediately it affects when this uh, when this failure mode occurs immediately it affects the system or 
uh, it is it affects in the next operation it it affects in the subsequent operation it affects in the long term usage uh, exa uh, some examples are uh, so what is the result of it what is the yield of it it's like customer is not so satisfied with it so we will lose the reputation when it occurs so uh, what happens like if there is uh, if there is we testing is not enough so say example so we need to uh, retest it to come to uh, to complete the cycle of it so it, if the review is not effective then we need to rework on the things which we have not covered so that like that step y is identify severity of failure modes so function related failure modes for that we need to identify the severity and we need to the next step is we need to identify the probability of occurrence of the failure modes step 7 is about identification of the causes which caused this thing so like uh, the pro, the calibration is not done okay review checklist was not sufficient or review checklist is not not at all there resources are not aware of some process so like after this uh, this should be done so step they, they are not aware of process so tool uh, so we have identified a tool but tool is not in a, that tool was not a capable of doing a particular work it skipped some step some importance important step step eight is identify the controls that is detection of failure detection of cause and prevention of cause and their effectiveness so i wrote in a uh, in, 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 uh, in, in, an, uh, in a way like you know first of all we need to concentrate on the prevention of cause then we need to identify we need to concentrate on the detection of cause and we need to find out the detection of failure and their effectiveness also so step 9 is identify de detection rating step 10 is calculate rpn is risk priority number severity into probability of occurrence into detection rating step 11 is calculate and prioritize the risks associated with failure modes step 12 is talking about develop the action plan to mitigate the risk step 13 is measure the effectiveness of action plan identified so here i gave an example for process fme or pfema so here we have an item item id id is provided here function is testing hardware availability that's a process okay um, availability of the of the testing software so requirement is correct hardware is connected to test failure modes are incorrect hardware usage and incorrect connection provided uh, effects are errors in error in results uh, and it may damage the hardware completely if we connect wrongly and the severity occurrence of occurrence in case of incorrect hardware usage is 5 occurrence or the probability of occurrence is 3 and causes causes are like the supplier or the customer sent wrong hardware or the hardware engineer sent a wrong requirement to supplier prevention uh, prevention control is a hardware test manager or the project manager need to verify the hardware request before sending it to the supplier or customer and uh, he need to verify the hardware received so detection control is none detection is 4 rpn is 60 that is 5 into 3 is 15 into 4 is 60 uh, so wherein uh, the second case if you second mode of second failure mode it is incorrect connection provided so there we had an effect like there it may damage the hardware completely the severity is to um, the occurrence is to because it may damage uh, the the hardware it's some most of the times it won't damage so the severity is to how occurrence is to in case of causes is engineer is not aware of connectors or connection uh, provision of connection prevention is we need to train the engineer to for before uses of that equipment so detection control is none detection is 3 it is 2 into 2 into 3 is 12 how to do design fmea so design fmea is somewhat similar to process fmea the difference is first of all the step assessed first step is like we need to uh, trace the item either we need to i uh, mention the item description or the item id to be to be mentioned here for the traceability and step 2 is uh, describe the function like what does it do that the particular design 
element or uh, the unit or the component uh, will do so this design fmea can be applicable for the system design mechanical design hardware design software design software design for uh, uh, architecture design and even for the unit design as well uh, so it's like uh, it sends uh, whether it sends the data or receives data or processes data or establish connection so this thing uh, like we need to identify the function what does this do and step three is identify function related potential value most like incorrect data sent or received or incorrect formatted data sent or, or received okay it did not do a processing correct processing so the, uh, the data is error prone was not able to establish connectivity uh, etc so step four is derive the actions like immediate impact so delayed impact like uh, the next operation or subsequent operation or long term operation or uh, long term uses in case of mechanical uh, mechanical functionality like uh, in uh, the wear and tear leads to long term usage uh, there is uh, uh, there will be uh, uh, an effect in in uh, in the long term when we use uh, something mechanical thing in the long term uses uh, so examples are customer is not satisfied end customer is not satisfied or the uh, oem is not satisfied in case we are suppliers and the loss of reputation so uh, the a customer will not be able, will not give the for the work or we need to rework like when we identify it internally and the wrong behavior of uh, this device whatever we are going to uh, put it inside uh, our car so it's like step five is identify severity of failure modes step six is identify the probability of occurrence of the failure modes step seven is identify the causes examples like architect did not consider a particular operation mode okay data flow is not considered consistently uh, so they have con considered up to some extent but there is a mismatch okay and correct sequence not used in sequence diagram so some something like this etc so step 8 is identify the controls like detection of failure detection of detection of cause and prevention of cause and the effectiveness step 9 is identify uh, detection rating so step 10 is rpn which is multiplication of severity probability of occurrence and detection detection rating so step 11 is calculate and prioritize the risk uh, associated with failure modes based on the rpn number we need to uh, prioritize whether we need to mitigate it or not as step 12 is develop the action plan to mitigate risk step 13 is measures measure the effectiveness of action plan identified here is a sample which is provided for the design FMEA. FM, this design FMEA is for mechanical design. Uh, so item is plug in plug out. So function is insertion and removal of device. So this is mechanical design. So requirement is device should, device should have easy plug in and uh, plug out mechanism. So, uh, so imagine a cable, a power cable to your uh, mobile phone or uh, an ergonomics device or something like this okay um, so failure mode is slippery surface hand slippery failure modes like hand slippery unable to catch in case of slippery surface the effects are the device cannot be pulled out of the car normally we need to use a lot of effort or sometimes it will slip uh, from our hand also the severity is three occurrence is three so even if we pull also it it won't come so the severity is uh, is less so uh, occurrence is three and causes are surface is painted with uv highlight so it softened or it uh, smoothened um, the surface much more than the previous so prevention control is surface designed to be changed for better grip Either we need to apply a MAC finish or something like that. So detection control is none. Detection is 4 and RPN is 3 into 3, 9, 9 into 4, 36. So uh, failure mode, the another file, failure mode is hand slippery. So there is a viscous substance uh, on top of oily substance on top of uh, the user which who is a driver or the co-passenger's hand. Uh, so effect is the device cannot be pulled out. 
of the car normally so severity is 3 occurrence is 2 and because you know every time our hand will not be oily that much so the occurrence is 2 or 1 you can also give that uh, so based on your uh, probability of occurrence so causes is user user hands are oily prevention control is surface design to be changed for the better grip that means we need to use uh, a matte finished or you know uh, a, a, a certain design to get a grip or uh, detection control none so detection is 4 and uh, the multiplication of 3 into 2 into 4 is 24 for rp and risk priority number risk priority number so unable to catch is the third failure mode since the device is small in size okay it may slip from our hand so that's what the failure mode is so fx is device may slip from the hand and may lead to device damage severity is 4 occurrence is 2 uh, because the height of the car like you know height of the height of the device and the cars uh, means like the height is very less so the severity it may may or may not damage the device but if the device is very sensitive like it it has the magnetic uh, magnets in that like um, in case of audio device or something like it may damage to certain extent so we give severity as four so causes is uh, device has heavy head and lean connector okay uh, in case of you know uh, the fragile material devices like glass glassware or something so that also will it'll, it'll get damaged right so the severity is marked as 4 prevention control is connector with clip to be used in hardware not uh, not to fall means like uh, if we uh, we are talking about the slipping or you know falling of the device into the into the cars um, in, into the car so it's like you know we need to avoid it so we need to have a clip uh, to the connector uh, so this the, that will have that will hold the device to the uh, to the car dashboard itself like an led to be placed to ensure connectivity so this led will help us that the device is connected we need we need not to push it for the more or something like that uh, so detection control is none so detection is one and rpn is eight so four into two into one is eight so with this i have completed my topic if you like this concept click on the like button if you want for the more automotive videos subscribe to my channel thank you